Hey yo, hello everybody, it's Meaning the Brick, and today I have something really awesome for you, which is the custom Daredevil CMF series that I designed in Mechabricks, and it turned out to be really, really cool. And to give you some context, if you don't know, Daredevil is a really amazing show, obviously based on Marvel Comics, but outside the MCU. But you know, as we know, Matt Murdock is part of it too, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I watched the show in December. Well, actually, this is when I started watching it, and I actually stopped watching it sometime in January, like towards the end of the month for sure. I mean, obviously, the show probably has like 35 hours of content with 39 episodes that are each long between 50 minutes and about an hour. Anyways, the show is an absolute masterpiece. I'm actually really surprised that it's just not that popular. The people who have seen it definitely treat it well as a masterpiece as they probably should because it's a really good show. It might be my favorite live action show to be honest and believe me I've seen many so believe me it's actually great it's full of dark stuff complicated story and very developed characters and you also now you're probably wondering is this gonna include any spoilers for the show well Obviously, it's gonna include characters that are based on the show. As the first thing and the second thing, I'll be just talking briefly about those characters in the video. Nothing special plot-wise, so I don't think overall you should be concerned with getting spoiled for anything. At least not much, but obviously that's up to you. If you want, you can turn the volume off and just see what I've done. Or just simply continue watching, which I think is more than fair. Now, let's get straight to the CM. First minifigure of this series is the Daredevil suit and as you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, that suit is just really really awesome. You know, Daredevil as a whole kind of reminds me of Batman that is part of Marvel property in some sort of way. I don't know, I, I'm just getting those vibes whenever I think of Daredevil, but yeah. Overall the characters are in fact quite different, but yeah. As I said, this minifigure is really, really cool. As you can see, it has dual molded arms, which is also a really nice addition. And also something that I have to say is that I had to choose quite an interesting tone of dark red for this minifigure. Because none of the Lego colors really fit the dark red that we see on the actual Daredevil suit. Obviously, show is filmed in many different locations which also changes the lightning itself but overall the suit is just very dark and also kind of pale for the dark red outfit also he has two sticks which obviously he's using in the show and yeah also something really cool is that i made him a custom helmet mold and to get that i actually used the ultron helmet from the marvel sets obviously and then in Mecha Bricks, there's something really, really cool, is that you can put parts through each other. So I actually threw that head attachment for Black Panther in there in dark red, and it works. It, it's quite accurate to the actual mask, which I think is really, really nice and also quite creative from my side, you could say. And the second minifigure in this series is another Matt Murdock, and that is his black suit which he is using a lot. When I started watching the show, I really didn't imagine to actually see so much of this suit and it continues through the whole show. You'll, you'll see it many times, which is just really, really nice. And yeah, I don't think heroes really need that much of suits. I think wearing something simple like this works as well and it's something that I really appreciate to see in the series that the actual Daredevil suit is actually not used that much as you might expect. Instead, we have simple things like this, which is just really, really cool. And definitely different from what we see in the MCU, you could say. But yeah, this minifigure was quite simple to make. I literally just used the Batman movie app design and threw it on a black torso. Then I actually used the belt from my sick fig. Yes, actually parts from that one are distributed through the whole series 
which I think is quite a nice usage. I mean, if it's broken, don't fix it, and that printing works very well for many characters here. And yeah, this suit is just very simple, as you can see, except those hand wraps, which I think are really, really cool, and are actually really cool part of the suit, in my opinion. And then for the head, uh, I mean, the actual mask piece, then we have that pirate head attachment you could say and then I actually customized the piece a little so it looks more accurate and overall it's simple but it's very accurate that's for sure. Third minifigure in the series is the last Matt Murdock minifigure and that is Matt in his lawyer outfit. At first you might think that including three Matt Murdocks might be a bit too much but I'm just telling you he's the main character and all of those outfits are in fact very iconic definitely more than side characters that I didn't include in here and to be honest there's not that many to be fair I don't think there's even many characters at all that aren't in this series but there definitely are some but obviously they aren't that important but yeah here as you can see we have this really cool leg printing which obviously was inspired from my sick fig and then we have his casual suit torso piece which looks very very nice and accurate to what we see in the show and he also has a, a stick to help him walk and that is because he's actually blind if you don't know daredevil is indeed blind but he has incredible senses which make him do a lot more abilities than you might expect the only complaint i have about this figure is the hairpiece because it should have been flipped the other way but we don't have a hairpiece like this or anything that would be more accurate in terms of shape i think i mean the hairstyle of many characters in the show is changing quite a lot so i think many hairpieces could work but I think this is the best one you can use. Fourth minifigure is finally someone else than Matt and that is Foggy Nelson, his best friend. And I'm really proud of this figure. I think it's really accurate to what we see in this show. And you know, the only thing I could change would be the hairpiece. But again, as I said, the hairstyle of the characters is changing quite a lot throughout the series. So what we have here still isn't too inaccurate but it could have been better if I used the hairpiece that The Last Jedi look has, that would be absolutely perfect. But Mecha Bricks doesn't have one in their inventory, so I can't really help, help there. But yeah, the torso printing is also something that is very accurate. I really tried to capture his iconic outfit and it definitely works, which is just really, really awesome. I'm very happy with how this minifigure turned out. Not gonna lie, overall, it is definitely one of my favorites in the series for sure. It's not even a debate. Fifth minifigure is Karen Page and she's also a really nice character and she definitely translated very well to the minifigure form, at least a lot more than I expected. I mean I really didn't expect this to look this good, I really didn't, but she does which is just really really awesome, especially the head is what I really think that I captured very well. You know there's one really cool official headpiece that already has blue eyes and pretty similar details to Karen and I just modified it a little and it fits pretty perfectly not gonna lie also the hairpiece is somewhat accurate as he said the, the hair is quite subjective also I could use her ponytail version which would be more accurate considering she's wearing this about outfit but I just like her with long hair a lot more, I think it captures the character a bit better, I would say. But yeah, we also have this really cool leg piece, which is actually an official piece, and I just randomly found it on Mecha Bricks and said that this is gonna be good, and it actually fits. At number 6, we have Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, and damn, what a character. I mean, also the performance by actor is absolutely incredible and yeah i just really love kingpin in the show if you have just seen hawkeye and you know weren't a fan of kingpin because he was quite out of character not gonna lie that's totally fine but believe me watch the show because in there he's absolutely top tier there's really a lot depth to his character which is something that i really like 
And yeah, for the minifigures itself, it was actually quite easy for it to come together. I don't know, I just had some luck with designing the parts, because somehow they really look accurate to what we see in the show. I'm really happy that they turned out to be really, really cool. And yes, I actually used the Lex Luthor face. For once, it's actually accurate to something, and not to something like Loki, which LEGO is doing. But yeah, here for Fisk, I actually modified it a little in the chin era, so it fits his body type a bit more, you could say. Also, it's quite hilarious how people are making Kingpin such a big brick build figure, even when the thing is about the show. Because, you know, in comics and the Spider-Verse, obviously he's absolutely huge, but in the show he's really like a normal minifigure, he's just a little tall. He's like 6'3", you could say, or 190 centimeters, but yeah, nothing enough to make him a big fig, I would say. We are already halfway through the series, and the seventh minifigure is Vanessa Mariana, or Vanessa. That's how Fisk says it, but yeah, obviously his, his love interest, if you don't know. But yeah, this minifigure is quite simple, but I think it quite works. I actually used the head from the some of the newer Hermione minifigures from Harry Potter, and sometimes Hermione is also using that hair piece. I mean, not with that head, but yeah, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you might see this figure as Hermione a little, but yeah, if you have context, uh, context of watching the show, I think you should be fine. I mean, I could totally design a brand new face for her, but believe me, it fits. Like, just looking at this picture side by side, I just see Vanessa, you know. Even if I would see this minifigure outside the CMF, I would think of Vanessa. I think that's quite clear to me. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, it might be a bit more of a struggle. The seventh minifigure in the CMF is Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. And yes, he also has his own show, if you're wondering, yep, that's a thing. And I think I'll be watching that show pretty soon, I'm quite interesting to see what we'll offer, but anyways, the character is really, really good. I also really love the casting of John Bertel, who also played a character in The Walking Dead. Obviously, that is not related to Marvel, but just saying that Daredevil is not the only place I know him from. Anyways. The minifigure itself is quite solid, I think, for what it is, especially the torso print with that skull looks quite menacing, not gonna lie. The main problem I might have is the face, which are the eyes, which don't really fit that well, you could say. They also might be a little too big, but I don't know. I think they fit, but on the other hand, they also kinda don't. I don't know, it's kinda hard to explain, but yeah, the head could've been better, but the rest is definitely quite on point. I also used the cloth piece to actually make his jacket look a little longer, which is accurate to what we see in the show. At number 9, we have Electra Nachios, which is a really cool character in my opinion. I also really enjoyed her arc in the show which is a little unpopular by some people. You know, some people really don't like it that much, but personally, I love all of it. I think it's all done in a very good way. But yeah, the picture I'm using on for her on the side is a little misleading because of the lightning. Anyways, uh, if you see her on some other scenes, you can definitely see that she's quite wide, maybe just a little more tan, but definitely not enough for me to actually change the color of the piece itself. And yeah, also what I've seen other people doing would be actually um, making her bandana to be printed on the head. But what I did was that I used the half mask, which I think quite works, you know, it's a really cool Ninjago piece. In real life, I don't think it would work, obviously it wouldn't because of the hair piece, but I think in terms of the design, it definitely works very well. And yeah, overall quite a nice figure. Number 10, we have Stick, which I think is a really cool character as well. I really like how he gets developed in the show, not that much, but enough for his role. Anyways, he's definitely a very unique character as I said, and I think I really nailed his face and the hair piece. I think all of that looks absolutely top tier to what we see in the show. 
and yeah the actual those and legs are obviously very simple but they work from some shots they're very similar to what you see here but obviously it depends from which version of stick you are comparing with because it doesn't look exactly the same all the time but yeah for the outfit this is based on i think he looks very cool and he has a katana as an accessory yeah if you're wondering he's blind too and that is why i made his eyes dark gray and that is also accurate to what we see in the episodes themselves number 11 in the series we have benjamin poindexter which is a really cool character in my opinion also he gets developed very well in the season that he appears also this minifigure turned out to be really really accurate especially the face part i think i quite nailed it also the hair piece i think is most accurate one that we have as an official piece and yeah then the torso i just you know i found a torso piece from star wars adjusted it a little and call, called it great which i think is fair you know it's obviously not perfect but accurate enough i would say and he also has the leg piece which is actually inspired by my sigfic as he said anyways if i would see this minifigure outside the cmf series i would definitely thought of dex himself that's for sure also if you haven't watched the show you might think this is quite a boring choice but believe me it's not he's playing quite a big role in some episodes and he's definitely a very cool character with no debate i definitely think this minifigure does justice to him for sure the last minifigure of the series is ray nadim and i absolutely love this character he is very amazing in the show definitely a very well written character with no any questioning about it for the minifigure maybe i simplified a bit too much but i think it's still quite accurate to what we see with actual character in the show at first with what might bother you is the hair piece which is turned the wrong way but that's just how that hair piece is molded there's not much i can do for it to look better and yeah for the other hell molds i don't think they really fit him and the face might be something familiar to you and yes it's actually based on Poo Dameron. I don't know for some reason I just thought of that and said that it, it might fit well and it actually did. Obviously I customized it a little. I also changed the skin tone because obviously Ray's skin is a little darker compared to other very white characters in the show. And yeah, the torso is very simplified, obviously he's in his formal outfit, there's not much to add. And same thing goes for the actual pants themselves. I mean, to be honest, maybe I could make his outfit with the FBI jacket, I think that could have been a little more interesting, but obviously I also had to kind of rush a little so I could release it today. The, vi the day this video is actually being uploaded so i just skip that and i don't think it's much of a problem anyways he's wearing formal outfits a lot as well i'm just saying that the fbi one maybe could have been a lot more interesting this is gonna be it for this video i'm really proud of this cmf series it might be my favorite manco bricks project so far i'm not sure about that but it was definitely the most difficult one to make because with ninjago you can just cut out things from the show and easily translate them to printing but here you really have to think outside of the box to make all those parts and stuff so yeah overall believe me is definitely quite a struggle but in the end i'm very happy with what we see here anyways this is gonna be it for this video be sure to let me know which minifigure from this cmf is your favorite in the comment section down below and if you have any ideas on what other tv show cmfs i should make just list them in the comment section as well i would like to hear that too if you enjoyed i would highly appreciate a like don't forget to click that subscribe button you can ready see ya